Bigger is not always better. The world's largest passenger plane struggles to compete with smaller, more efficient models. Plus, from hero to zero, zero growth that is, Europe's biggest economy, Germany, just about manages to dodge recession. We look at some of the reasons why. And stocks, well, they await progress on US-China trade talks and oil prices continue to climb while the dollar holds around two month highs. And it is, of course, Valentine's Day. There will be, I'm sure, a few corks popped, but what does it take to produce a quality sparkling wine from scratch? We'll find out. And today we want to know, uh, passengers and pilots may love the Super Jumbo, but as we've just heard from 2021, no more new a 380 So will you miss it? Do you enjoy travelling on it? Let us know. Use the hashtag BBC Bizline. Welcome to Business Live. We're going to start with Airbus because, as you've been hearing today, it's the end of the runway for this particular airliner. Airbus says it is ending the production of the double-decker A380 just 12 years after it was launched. It will make its last deliveries of the aircraft in 2021. Our demand for the A380 has been declining as airlines have been shifting to smaller, wide-bodied jets. Now, the decision comes after Emirates, the Super Jumbo's biggest customer, cut back on its orders from 162 to just 123 aircraft. Ben. Well, Simon Calder is travel editor of uh, The Independent and uh, joins us now. Good to see you, Simon. Um, so when they write the memoirs of uh, the A380, will it go down as a success or a failure, do you think? Uh, financially, a failure. In terms of passenger preference, absolutely a runaway success. But unfortunately, the fact that um, all kinds of passengers, whether they're business travellers or leisure passengers, prefer the roomy, comfortable Airbus A380, uh, the economics simply don't stack up for airlines. And once Emirates, which is by far the biggest customer for the jet, buying about half of them, says, actually, we're going to downsize to Airbus A330s and Airbus, Airbus A350s, the game was really up for Airbus. And uh, we're being told that part of the reason is that airlines would prefer to have more and smaller uh, jets that will take people directly to where they want to go rather than this idea of taking them to a hub airport and then they travel on. Does that mean that whole model within the aviation industry is now uh, busted? No, and um, most certainly uh, they will continue to con connect hubs across the world. Um, Heathrow, of course, it's the best way to extract more capacity when you've simply run out of slots. The same goes for Dubai, Paris, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, all getting crowded, Singapore, Hong Kong, and so on. Um, but the economics just don't work as well as more modern 21st century aircraft using two engines. Um, you haven't got the same investment in ground infrastructure and ultimately there aren't that many routes where you can guarantee day in day out to fill 500 seats on average and if you take the world's most prestigious the biggest intercontinental air route which is london to new york there is a grand total of no airbus a380s on that route there's dozens of other planes from 757s to um, boeing 787s uh, but there's simply no appetite for the a380 because Business travellers who kind of underwrite that whole operation want frequency above comfort. And the economics of the A380 is such, isn't it, that um, it's profitable when it's full, but every empty seat burns a hole in the finances of airlines. Yes. I mean, airlines are managing to fill more of their planes than ever. It used to be in the olden days. If you filled 70, 75 percent, you were doing really well and that was fine. These days you're looking much higher load factors than that. And the worst sight for any airline executive is a row of row after row of empty seats. And the A380, um, if, if that's flying empty, it's proving extremely expensive. The costs per seat, because you've got four engines rather than two, are, are simply um, are not as competitive as they need to be. Simon, thanks very much. Of course, the irony is that as a passenger, you just hope for a row of empty seats, don't you? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Simon, thanks very much. Simon Calder there. Thanks, Simon. Let's take a look at some of the other stories making the news 